There's no stopping Fury from stepping up to the plate. If the Deontay Wilder fight didn't happen, I would happily fight Fury. He's still two stone over when he fought Vladimir Klitschko. Even though he's lost weight, he's still two stone over his peak weight. When he's a couple pounds over, then I'll say he's at his peak again. Fury is not yet in condition. It's up to him. When he's ready, we're ready. What does Fury do? Two sessions a day? I would rather do two boxing sessions a day. He's been saying he does one boxing session and one run. Why? Are you trying to be a part-time boxer and a part-time track runner? I'd say get in the gym. Focus on your gym work. The best fighters spend more time in the gym than anywhere else. So those are the words of Anthony Joshua. Some interesting things he said there. If the Deontay Wilder fight don't come off in April and obviously the contract is supposedly signed from Anthony Joshua's end. All they're waiting on is Deontay Wilder's signature. And that's assuming Joshua gets past Povetkin and that's not a foregone conclusion. We'll see if Deontay Wilder takes it because there's nowhere else Deontay Wilder can go and get $15 million right now. Whether it's fair or not is really besides the point. Is Joshua and Eddie Hearn, are Joshua and Eddie Hearn greedy? Maybe they are. But where else is Wilder going to go to get a payday even remotely close to 15 million within the next six, seven, eight months? Tyson Fury might be a possibility. Maybe Alexander Usek potentially a possibility if Deontay Wilder follows through with his uh, suggestion that he might go down to cruiserweight and become the first heavyweight champion to drop down to cruiserweight and win a title. Maybe. That could come close to it wouldn't come it wouldn't amount to 15 million, I'm sure. I'd be surprised if it did. I, I hope for his sake it does. Because that'll be an amazing achievement for Wilder to do that. But the way it looks at the moment, the only way he's gonna get close to 15 million is fighting Joshua in April. So he might just have to bite the bullet and take that fight. And it's not just 15 million he's getting, it's all the belts. And after that, his purses are gonna go through the roof. Once he becomes undisputed champion, if he can beat Joshua. The world's his oyster. He has the rematch with Joshua, sure, but in the rematch, it's 50-50. So he's going to get way more money. And if he beats Joshua, and that's if Joshua even takes the rematch. If he beats Joshua badly enough first time around, there might not be a rematch. And even if he, he does beats Joshua in the rematch, then he can go on to untold riches as the undisputed champion. Anyway, um... Back to what Joshua was saying here about Fury. Interestingly, he says, well, I, I take it he's interested in fighting Fury in April instead of Wilder or Fury in sometime in 2019 instead of Wilder if Wilder don't take the fight. And that's fair enough. Uh, he talks about Fury not being ready right now, which is evident given the level of opposition Fury's been fighting and the fact he's taking on Pianetta in his next fight. Clearly, Fury's not ready. Uh, but he's questioning what Fury's doing in the gym. He's saying... Fury should concentrate more on boxing sessions rather than running and all this other kind of stuff. But the same could be said about Anthony Joshua, right? Because people have said that he's, including myself, concentrating far more on resistance training. He says he don't do weights. I mean, whatever. You do some type of resistance training. And that's how you put on all those muscles, okay? He's obviously a naturally muscular guy to a certain extent, but he bulks up with a lot of extra muscle with all this resistance training that he does. And a lot of people, including myself, have said that he focuses far too much on doing all that kind of stuff. And he should be focusing more on actual boxing training, working on his technique more so than his uh, physical strength and how much he can deadlift. So... As much as he criticizes Fury for doing too much running, people can rightly criticize him for doing too much resistance training. Although, Joshua's looking a lot slimmer these days. He was a lot slimmer in the Joseph Parker fight than he was against Klitschko or Takam. And when you saw him at the press conference for the launching of the zone, he looked slim again. You know, he looked a similar kind of size to me as he was against Joseph Parker. Maybe he's going to come in even lighter. Then he was again, because he, he, he has talked in some recent interviews about losing weight. You know, after the Parker fight, he's still been talking about keeping his weight down and losing weight. So he might come in close to 240 or maybe under 240 for his next fight. We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be interesting. So perhaps what he's saying here is relevant to himself now. 
you know, perhaps he's seen the error of his ways in terms of spending too much time hitting weights when he should have been hitting the bag or hitting the pads or working on his footwork or shadow boxing or doing footwork drills and all that kind of stuff, uh, sparring, so on and so forth. So maybe he's given Fury some advice, which he's just taken on board himself. You know, anyway, let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. All the things that Andy Joshua said here. And also the possibility of fighting Tyson Fury in 2019. Will Fury be ready in April? If they were to sign Joshua versus Fury, let's say Joshua beats Povetkin. And then they, and then they announce that they're signing Joshua versus Fury in April. Would any of you pick Tyson Fury to beat Anthony Joshua in April? That's what I'd like to know from you guys. How many of you would pick Tyson Fury to beat Anthony Joshua if they signed to fight in April? Let me know in the comment section below. It's that man, I'm out.